Well, uh, you know, we uh, we started off real quick. I think of say we just scored so quickly the first two times down the floor, and and it just seemed to uh, offensively we did not play well. Defensively, I thought our guys did a great job. Uh, what do we hold them to? Uh, Sixteen of forty-eight, thirty-three percent shooting, and they, without their three-point shooting, it would have been a, it would have been a different. A whole, I mean, it would have been a bad, a, a easy win for us, but. Um, you know, we, we have to do a better job scoring inside. Though Alonzo Sule did a, had a very good second half, particularly on the boards, 14 points, 14 rebounds, and I'm very proud of him. Nigel uh, led us in scoring. We had three double-digit scores, and then we had Marlon with eight. I mean, sorry, Quentin with eight. Um, we're going to have to play better than this to beat a team like Houston. Uh, they're a very good basketball team. Coach Sampson and I are close friends. His son, wor Kellen, worked for me for one year at Stephen F., and you know, they, they've got that program rolling pretty good, and we're going to have to play better than this offensively uh, because the athletes we're facing at Houston uh, are very high major athletes that uh, that uh, if we, we do need to keep the score, can't let them get up and score 85, 90 points on their home court, but it's going to be difficult to keep them from scoring uh, with the amount of uh, talent they have. So uh, offensively, we have to improve our efficiency, and we have to become a better basketball team uh, with, uh, with the ball. Um, first, talking about that defense, you held their leading scorer, um, Staffel, to just eight points. Um, he's a true freshman, and he averages about 12. What was the game plan coming in to really keep him in check? Well, we, you talk, the big man is, you know, he's – when he puts it on the floor, you know, he, you know he's going to try to score. I think we bothered him some. But, you know, we, bought, we, we stopped him. But then you have people like, uh, I, I want to say, Zero, who had 20. And when we dropped off on him, you know, he hurt us in other ways. He found open people who hit their shots. You know, Marks had 20. And, of course, four uh, Flowers had 17. And uh, they hit their shots. I think, I think between the two of them, uh, you know, they're, they're like uh, – Seven for seven for twelve, uh, and that the other rest of the team is two for twelve. So those two guys alone hurt us. And so Staff, Staff Staffel uh, uh, didn't score a lot of points, but he facilitated a lot of points. And uh, and 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 you know, so he hurt us in another way after we you know jumped in on him, try to double team him at times. Last game, we were out-rebounded by 10. Um, you weren't very happy with that. Today, we got the edge just by six rebounds, but you had two players with over 10 or 10 or more rebounds. Um, was rebound was rebounding something uh, focused on after the uh, Abilene Christian game? Well, we need to we need to do a better job rebounding, uh, period, because we don't have guys that are going as much as they should. Uh, you know, uh, 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 Isaiah had 10, and, and Alonzo had a fantastic game at 14. You know, I need to get more rebounds from, you know, our other bigs, Eric Terry and Quentin Scott. Uh, and Nigel and, uh, and and Shelby at the three spot need to probably do a little bit better on their boards there. But no, one of the players that I wanted to comment on, even though he only had six points, I thought he did a great job for us. Shelby Adams came off the bench and played great for us tonight. Uh, he did a fantastic job. Uh, Alonzo did a fantastic job in the second second uh, uh, second uh, half, and uh, you know I, Isaiah did not score a lot of points, but his ten rebounds was very helpful. So uh, we really did not shoot the ball well from outside. Two for ten from the three. Their zone defense was pretty good. It it it, it kind of befuddled us, and and uh, we just didn't shoot the ball very well from the three point line today. And and that was a problem, but I'm happy with the win. Uh, you know, it's been a uh, a long two, three weeks. We still got another tough week ahead, and then we're going to give the guys off several days for the finals, and they need that break. So uh, we're six and two. Uh, you know, that's where I'd hoped we'd be right now, with the outside hope of being seven and one. You know, with all the all you know between Air Force, between UNLV, and between Baylor. I was hoping we could win two out of three, and we won one out of three, uh, just to be realistic. And so, uh, like we still, you know, maybe we can make it up against Houston, but uh, it's going to be a tough week with Houston and UTSA.